make some quick comments about things I heard, uh, but uh, I did take a lot of notes, and uh, I want to thank the panel uh, and uh, assure you that I will think harder about this than what is expected, and now some quick comments about what uh, you said in that uh, very good set of uh, uh, <coughs> uh, cooperatively timed comments. John Hall began by saying that uh, when you're so far down in the alphabet, your name begins with H, uh, there aren't as many things to say as were said so well by things by people who went ahead of you, uh, which is often a problem with the alphabet. Uh, and uh, John, so I'm going to put your comment first. John uh, said uh, that sort of wistfully that uh, he, he remembers the Tocqueville and that the underlying and underneath all of these uh, uh, important ideas we have about government is, is community. And I sat there, you know, reading and loving uh, history and Tocqueville, and you heard me use about some other uh, historical figures, but I'm reminded that uh, neither Tocqueville nor Madison had a fax machine or uh, uh, access to cable TV, uh, and uh, that uh, we do live in a global village now. It is hard to uh, get people to think about uh, community uh, and neighbors. I mean, it's a different world, and John's uh, point in that connection uh, is indeed uh, well taken. Uh, I thought that uh, the uh, comment that uh, David Ammon made, the two comments he made, I thought were very good about uh, our not being clear enough about what he called uh, executive mayors and council managers. I, I take that as uh, a nice directive and uh, a place where the report simply uh, wasn't clear enough. And I think your uh, rigorous uh, professorial empiricism about uh, flattening bureaucracy is also uh, well taken as a uh, comment. Uh, I thought that uh, uh, Dick uh, Bauer's comment about, uh, you know, a lot of people are excited about the things that uh, we are uh, talking about here and uh, that uh, there is a question about whether we have the courage, the political courage, which he said twice is maybe an oxymoron to, uh, to really work on these uh, uh, fundamentals, and perhaps in the terms of reference of my uh, uh, earlier admonitions about uh, pushing the agenda further into basic uh, structural and constitutional areas involving legislatures and, uh, and, and the judiciary and governmental uh, constitutions. Uh, uh, I think that that's a, uh, a really key uh, subject for you to kick around here uh, at your meeting is how do you get people to care about this? And Mel uh, uh, said that, you know, uh, that he was, that our report was under publicized. Not because we didn't try. And uh, he said, well, maybe it was because there was a lot of other news that day. But frankly, I don't think that was the reason. I think that good government is very hard to get people to care about. That it is abstract, uh, isn't uh, dramatic, isn't somebody hitting somebody or hurting somebody, uh, fighting with somebody. Uh, and uh, what you need uh, is a vice president and a president who will get out front. And indeed, we had the president uh, meet with us. And, and we took uh, pictures and all of the, the, that. And we're going to use that a lot in our follow-up publicity. But, but there is uh, you know, a real challenge to people who care to, uh, to, to hopefully join with us and with others to get uh, local communities, your own people, to read and to discuss these issues the way you are doing, which I praise you for. Uh, I very much liked uh, a comment that uh, Lorraine Rogers made, uh, and it uh, ties to a comment that uh, Mark made about uh, rotating committee memberships. I hadn't picked this up, Lorraine. Uh, and, and then uh, Mark talked about rotating bureaucrats, and I, I want to say a word about that. And uh, rotating committee memberships, she said, you know, they get very stale looking at the same thing all the time. They get, you know, kind of acculturated and tied in with all kinds of uh, uh, political uh, uh, campaign uh, 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 financing uh, practices that we know all too much about. And, but you know, that that's what term limits is really all about. It is uh, bringing freshness uh, uh, to, to, to government. Uh, and, and eight years is a long time. I, I uh, 
I think that there is a sort of generic principle here about uh, representation that we've gotten away from. And, and I'm going to go back tomorrow and think about that on the airplane. Uh, the hardest, I think, of all the comments made. And Mark said we should rotate bureaucrats. Now, I want to make a point here that uh, I uh, particularly think is, is important about American government that most people don't understand is we have, unlike almost any country in the world, this very large layer of appointed officials who do rotate, rotate more than almost anybody in Washington, and it's not as true at the state level uh, or the local level. But uh, uh, you, you mentioned J. Edgar Hoover, and, and, and I think that we, the, 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 this idea of rotation and freshness, I think that's the main sort of generic uh, new, maybe uh, sort of the theme point that I'm going to take from this and uh, work with uh, in my uh, notes as I uh, developed them. Uh, I will never forget the metaphor uh, that uh, Willa Brooks used, that the uh, third largest uh, city in Nebraska is uh, when the uh, university has a home football game. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think many of you uh, were right uh, in the panel and in the discussion to urge the commission, the winter commission, to uh, get uh, uh, more uh, involved in our uh, future work with uh, local government and uh, uh, earlier, uh, Fred said, uh, uh, state local uh, relations. Uh, a final point, uh, I hope this will be something that really happens and not that this isn't a passing fancy uh, when other things uh, attract the attention of the president and the vice president and the national press corps. And, and I hope that it will be uh, you had a nice metaphor, Mark, that there's a sort of fork in the road. Privatization is sort of anti-government, and reinvention is sort of pro-government when you cut it all down to size. The people who are reinventors are liberals, and the people who are privatizers, uh, the Grace Commission, are less. Now, I happen to be, you know, believe in government, and I guess I'd say I'm a liberal. And, uh, and I hope that out of this will come what David Osborne and Ted Gable really started, which is a feeling that government can do things, that we can trust in government, that we can make it better. And in the process, picking up on a point of yours, Mark, that that will attract young people to come to Willis classes and to David's classes and to mine and to go into government in the 60s. Uh, the best and the brightest students when I was a student, uh, my goodness, the 50s even, uh, uh, government was, was where I, I worked for John Lindsay on the current commission. All the things I read about were how exciting and important it was to be a public servant. And maybe that, too, will be part of this mood, culture, tone change that will happen, and we won't lose this moment. Thank you. I think we could keep discussing this and miss lunch, but uh, I'm going to defer to lunch. Um, we will keep discussing this throughout the conference. I think we've got a very powerful start this morning. I would um, I'd like to make some announcements and, and just some questions in terms of, of planning. Um, first of all, if you're not going to be here for lunch tomorrow, will you please let us know at the registration desk? Uh, because in terms of the economy and the running these events, you know, we, we don't want to pay for meals if people aren't going to be there. So. Um, you know, we understand that people's schedules vary and people uh, you know, may want to, you know, first of all, can do some sightseeing or um, whatever, or may have, a, you know, airline reservations. So please let us know if you will not be there. Um, the award ceremony, I wanted to remind you, will be um, this evening at, you know, at 530, um, reception sponsored by Rural Metro. So we very much like to have everyone there. Um, the NPR report, as Lorraine mentioned, will be 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, where she can run down more of the details of, of the report. Um, not that we want to take away from the other competing panels, we want to push your mind at the same time, but um, if you're particularly interested in that, you know, I wanted to, to run the story. Um, and finally, um, if you're brave and you'd like to work with us on the next conference, um, which is you know, the way we do it, just find people at each conference who would like to you know, help us uh, develop the next conference, um, we'd be very interested in, you know, in talking to you. That's how Scott got involved in, in this. Um, 